Are you ready to enjoy music again? Stay right there for Neon Music Country Legacy with Randy Moore. Thank you very much, Bert. Welcome to Neon Music Country Legacy. My name is Randy C. Moore, and I'm your host. Now it's time to get the music started. A million stars were in the sky 4 a.m. on the 5th of July We headed out to Toledo Bend Me and Daddy going fishing again He said we'll be there in an hour or so Charlie Rich was on the radio I said, I hope that we get lucky today He nodded his head and I heard him say If the good Lord's willing and the mercury runs We'll be on the water before the sun With rods, reels, and spinner baits We'll cast our troubles out into the lake Cause life is a whole lot better when the fishing's fine And there's a little bit of heaven at the end of that line Chalk Talk Camp, he eased that bass boat down the ramp. I held the rope while he parked the truck. I caught myself waking up. He got us out to our honey hole. How it finds it, I never know. I said, All these trees look alike. He said, Son, you can trust an old Indian guy. When the good Lord's willing and the mercury runs, on the water before the sun With rods, reels, and spinner baits We'll cast our troubles out into the lake This life is a whole lot better when the fishing's fine and There's a little bit of heaven at the end of that line now When I think about my daddy, I think about fishing And I think about fishing every day When I die and leave this place I want to see my daddy's face Saying, get the rise in real sun We're heading to the lane A million stars were in the sky 4 a.m. on the 5th of July We headed out to Toledo Bend Me and Daddy going fishing Again La 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 Come on, let's go fishing Grab the rods and reels How does it feel? Son, don't you want to go fishing? Daddy, I want to go fishing Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of Neon Music Country Legacy. I'm your host, Randy C. Moore. Today's show features a lot of great music, and our Neon Spotlight will focus on modern country giant Michael Peterson. We will get to hear from Michael personally as he shares his insights and stories in our Neon Studios. So let's get things rolling, all right? The song From Here to Eternity really began with the recognition that while there are countless wedding songs, there are very few proposal songs. My co- co-writer Robert Ellis Oral and I wondered, what if we could offer every person who's nervous about popping the question a song that could ask the question on his or her behalf? Well, in the years since, I have received literally tens of thousands of emails, cards, texts, and letters from people saying that this song was their song. Recently selected by Great American Country as the fourth most popular country music wedding song of all time, From Here to Eternity, is still helping nervous suitors everywhere. What a joy it is to be a part of so many people's lives in this way. Wow. Well, I did everything I could 
get you here tonight Without telling you why Now girl, if you only would Please hold out your hand Just close your eyes Well, I've been dying to ask you One burning question Legacy. Neon Music Country Legacy. Okay, folks, as I promised earlier, our neon spotlight shines today on Michael Peterson. He was born in Tucson, Arizona, and he was a music fan when he was just a child. Now, not only did he become a gifted musician, but he was also a talented athlete who actually led his college team to a national football championship. And as a football player, he made his first legitimate music connection. His teammate landed him a songwriting gig for pop artist Denise Williams. Now, his music career soon flourished as a gospel artist on the Sparrow label. Not too long after that, he landed a deal with Warner Reprise in Nashville, where he scored five top 40 country singles. Hey, let's listen to what that was like from the man himself, Michael Peterson. During the pandemic, I slowed down long enough to take stock of my journey with music. Man, I was surprised by how much music and I have done together. Some 3,000 performances in 22 countries, 24 albums, with songs hitting number one on the charts around the world 15 times. 34 songs recorded by Grammy winners and Hall of Famers in seven genres of music. Country, rock, pop, Latin, R&B, jazz, and gospel. Did things turn out the way I thought they would? And No, and, and I'm so glad that they didn't. They turned out way better than I ever imagined. Pop and R&B star Denise Williams signed me to my first publishing deal in late 1985. She was best known for hits like Too Much, Too Little, Too Late, and Let's Hear It for the Boy. And She was riding high as the number one pop singer in the world when I first started working with her. 
I was performing in Toronto, Ontario when I received a package from her with a cassette tape holding three recordings of song ideas she was working on. She asked me to see if I could come up with more lyrics to help her finish the songs. And I was given 48 hours. All right, So I threw caution to the wind and I pulled an all-nighter. I called her then the next morning to let her know that I was overnighting her what I had come up with. And lo and behold, when she got the package, she loved what I had done. Two of the three songs ended up being released on her CBS Hot on the Trail album, and both were singles. In fact, one of the songs, He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not, was the follow-up single to Let's Hear It for the Boy. Of the two that she recorded, my favorite is still this song, We're Together. so in love what a joy to know you found the one you waited for you will search no more you know it's true every time I close my eyes I think of you you're my dream come true we In 1999, I was invited by Sting's manager, Miles Copeland, to participate in a nearly two-week-long writer's retreat that was held in a medieval castle that he owned in the south of France. The castle retreat 
brings writers and artists from all genres and several countries together to kind of supercharge the creative process. Over 20 participants stayed on the grounds for the entire time. That that meant we were all sleeping in rooms that were over 600 years old. It was wild. I'd been up all night writing, and I was sitting on the bed when Capitol recording artist John Barry walked down the hall. My door was open, and he stopped to say hello. And he told me he was currently looking for songs for a Christmas album he was going to record. I told him that I had one for him. So he came in the room and he sat down. And guitar in hand, I sang it. And it was a song that I had written in 1990 for a Christmas Eve service at the church I attended. No one besides the congregation that night had ever heard it. When I finished, he asked if I could get him a demo. I told him there was no demo and I asked if a cassette of me singing it would suffice. He said that was fine. So fast forward a few months, I get a call telling me not only has he recorded the song, it's going to be the title track. All right. So for over a decade since then, John has delivered a yearly Christmas tour carrying the name of that song. The song has received glowing reviews with several writers saying it's one of those rare new Christmas songs that could become a standard. John has recorded the song on two different albums. I guess that means he likes it. Well, so do I. Here is My Heart is Bethlehem. Stepped into time And drew a mortal breath This mystery so clearly seen The world could not forget That in the town of Bethlehem In the most unlikely place God the Father wore a child's face There's something in the heart of God So purely meek and mild Finds its best expression in the longings of a child. For every child's heart is hungry to be found and loved and known by someone who would make their heart a home. My heart is Bethlehem I will make room for Him This humble dwelling place Made worthy by His grace This child is still adored Hearts of men, my heart is Bethlehem. I wish for you this Christmas Eve that you would find true peace, that silent nights are holy nights. And wonders never cease There's no remembering The ghost of Christmas past For God's forgiveness finds your heart at last My heart is I will make room for him This humble dwelling place 
made worthy by His grace. This child is still adored because He still is born deep in the hearts of men to love and not condemn. My heart is Bethlehem. Living in Seattle from 1981 through mid-1996, I wrote mostly by myself, about 20 songs a year. When I did co-write, I was writing mostly with Seattle session guitar player producer Dave Rayner and programming whiz session bass player Kenny Lamar. Six of the songs we wrote together ended up on an album of mine called Sampler in the late 1980s. The albums that I made in the decade following my Sparrow release were all for the CCM market. It seemed to me there was little interest in my songwriting beyond a small group of fans and my friends who had to like my songs or the beer stayed in the refrigerator. So you can imagine it came as a great surprise to me in early 1993 when I received a call from Bill Gaither's publishing company informing me that a song I wrote had been recorded by the multi-Grammy and double award-winning gospel quartet, the Classic Imperials. I had no idea how they got the song. The publisher had no idea how they'd gotten the song. That song became the first single from the album titled Stir It Up. It reached number one on the CCM national chart. This was my first number one song as a writer, and this hit made the Imperials the only group in any genre of popular music to have a number one hit in four consecutive decade. I was thrilled beyond words.
1999, while I was participating in Miles Copeland's Castle Songwriters Retreat, I had the chance to write with the Eagles member and bass player, Timothy B. Schmidt. Together with hit songwriter producer Daryl Brown, we were trying to capture a feeling reminiscent of the 60s classic Up on the Roof, you know, romantic, timeless, and modern all at once. What began as an acoustic guitar-driven production demo emerged as a slightly doo-wop-flavored a cappella master recording on his most recent solo album for MCA Universal, Feed the Fire. Having grown up loving the Eagles, I have to say, this experience still makes me smile. One, two, three. Bah, Look bum, at what I bum, found. Bum, it, bum, you better sit bum, down bum, and bum, check bum, out bum, this photograph. Hey, look what we're doing. Why has it been so long since we left like that? We could make another memory. Why don't you follow me? I know a place that's right. So right, meet me at the top of the stairs tonight. And we'll remember what happens for. It's waiting behind that door. Let's kick off our shoes now. There's nothing to lose. Who cares if we play all day? Hey, how about a slow dance? There's nothing like romance, and we're just a touch away. Baby, I've got the perfect plan. In a moment you'll understand. I know a place that's right. So right, meet me at the top of the stairs tonight. Neon Music Country Legacy. One day, in late 2011, I stopped by to visit my friend and oftentimes co-writer Joey Scott. Joey's best known as a co-writer of the number one country classic, Really Not That Different, recorded by Colin Ray. Joey was writing with the lead singer for the Michael Thompson band, Larry King. And the songs were going to be for the band's upcoming release on the Italian rock label, Frontiers. 
I was coming by to meet Larry and hear a little of what they were creating and then quickly leave because I didn't want to interrupt their flow. Well, just as I came in the room, they were working on a song about a 72 Camaro Larry had once owned and they were stuck on a line. My first car was a 72 Olds Cutlass Supreme. So I had a feeling for what he was feeling. And after a few moments, I threw a line at them and they loved it. And suddenly I was in the saddle along with them and we finished that song and two more before I left. The next day, it was a marathon session, but it was magic. So, 72 Camaro, Here For You, and 420 were all recorded with this all-star band and eventually were released on Larry's other band project for Frontiers, Soleil Moon, as part of their most recent album, Warrior. In 1998, I wrote several songs 
with Hall of Fame songwriter Craig Wiseman. I remember walking into his office and him saying to me, let's forget about trying to write a hit today. Let's just try to write something real. Do you have anything real? (laughs) Well, surprised by his comment, I opened up my notebook and it fell on a short passage about my childhood that I had written first probably 20 years before that. So I said to him, how about this? As a child, I was told that I was destined to be nothing. Growing wild as I got older, I fulfilled what had been said. Hiding ignorance and fear, I prayed that no one saw me bluffing. But I was laying the foundation for a future I would dread. Is that real enough? (laughs) We both laughed, and uh, we finished the song that day. And now the song has been recorded by both Travis Tritt, the title track to his final Warner Brothers album, it's on his greatest hits record, the classic Imperials, and me on my Modern Man album for Sony. If I was ever pressed to choose a personal theme song from the ones I've written, this audience favorite would be it. As a child I was told that I was destined to be nothing Growing wild as I got older I fulfilled what had been said Hiding ignorance and fear I prayed nobody saw me bluffing But I was laying the foundation for a future I would dread Yeah Seems like every choice I made would somehow leave me second-guessing About the green grass I was passing, racing toward the other side I thank God for the blessing that I finally learned this lesson One step in the right direction's worth a wasted mile behind Singing no more, looking over my shoulder, no more over my shoulder I could chill a room with reasons why I would not give forgiveness to the people who had selfishly left me a wounded soul I kept dragging around those memories like a ball and chain behind me wondering why my troubles followed me wherever I would go well but one night sick and tired of being sick and tired I realized forgiveness was the only open road I swear I heard those shackles snap The moment that I took that path Never had one time looked back since the morning I arose Singing no more Looking over my shoulder No more Hanging on to the past No more Over my shoulder The first time co-writer Daryl Brown shared this idea with me, I immediately thought about the Jimmy Webb classic, 
by the time I get to Phoenix, made famous by the late Glenn Campbell. Well, this song has that rare kind of lyrical hook, the kind that at once surprises the listener without confusing them in the least. I I just knew it was going to be great. And to this day, it's still one of my favorites. This melody captures the melancholy in an unforgettable way for me. I recorded it first on my Modern Man album, and when Daryl was hired to produce Ty's upcoming album, he pitched the song to Ty, and it became both the first single and the title track. Right about now She's happy to let the morning Sun through the window Kiss her face And right about now I bet she's finishing up her crossword And loving the way her coffee tastes Right about now I wish I was more than just a memory to her I did listen somehow When she said Miss me if you go And I swore Before I slammed the door I'll never think of you I was so wrong back then And she was so right about now Right about now Shouldn't I be the one Better for all the time that's passed Oh, shouldn't I be The one who's telling friends I'm happy to be alone at last There's nothing right about now Cause just like she promised on the day I left her What goes around Comes around when she said, Miss me if you go. And I swore before I slam the door, I'll never think of you again. I was so wrong back then, and she was so. Right about now Right about now In the late 1980s, a friend and mentor of mine told me about one of the best strategies that top public speakers use to engage their audiences. He said, great communicators usually begin with a topic the audience knows a lot about and has a great interest in. Then they show the audience something that the audience didn't know about that topic. Well, this led me to wondering what would happen if I took four very familiar words to country music fans and presented them in a whole new light as a song. (laughs) The result was drink, swear, steal, and lie. It still makes me smile to this day. And with nearly three million airplays worldwide, it appears that a lot of other people feel the same. Man, I couldn't be more grateful. When daddy said to me Don't take to drinking Boy, that road don't lead nowhere And don't you ever let me hear you swear Don't you dare He told me stealing is a lazy man's way Some 
And for nothing leaves you hell The press that don't lie And you can look the whole world in the eye oh, Honey, I try Since I met you, girl, I'm breaking every rule I must confess I'm just a backsliding fool I want a break from your loving cup Swear I'll never give you up Steal all your kisses underneath the moon I want to lie here close to you Look what you made me do Darling, you're the reason why I'd wreck, swear, steal, and lie Last night I threw away my 12-step book I finally faced the fact that I am hooked on you There's nothing more that I can do I ain't no use Cause every time I see your angel face My halo disappears without a trace I swear Girl, I admit I haven't got a prayer I don't care I know this ain't exactly how I was raised Oh, but heaven help me, honey I ain't changing my ways I want a drink from your loving cup Swear I'll never give you up Steal all your kisses underneath the moon I want to lie here close to you Look what you made me do Darling, you're the reason why I drink, swear, steal, and lie I want a drink from your loving cup Swear I'll never give you up Steal all your kisses underneath the moon When renowned American poet Joanna O'Keeffe once said, a song can stir the soul of a nation, she envisioned the original words to her award-winning poem, America at the Crossroads, becoming one of those songs. My friend Tony Smith, whose production credits included Dolly Parton, Lee Greenwood, Whitney Houston, and a lot more, called me one day and asked if I could help him turn the poem into a song. (laughs) I liked where the project stood, and I dove in. Adapting the poem into a song lyric form, I sang to the music Tony had created, and Joanna's dream took shape. America at the Crossroads is a heartfelt cry for unity in America, and it could not have come at a better time. We the people on opposite sides Have lost sight of the middle Where resolutions reside If Jefferson were here right now He'd pick up his pen On parchment he'd write Be patriots again When we look into Of our sisters and brothers Americans Respecting one another Oh, no outside force Will ever take this land Still a house divided Cannot stand We need to come Minds and hearts A nation united For a world torn apart You see, we need each other Now more than ever But if we all join hands America at the crossroads has been 
bloodshed For this land to be free And indivisible How great is destiny Is to be that city on a hill To be that light Laying down our anger Oh, to unite We need to come together Minds and hearts A nation united For a world torn apart You see, we really need each other I remember sitting in my grandmother's apartment telling her that I wanted to be a singer and songwriter and have a career in music. I was in my early 20s, and I'll never forget what happened next. She asked me how long I thought it would take for me to make it, quote unquote. I didn't have an answer. (laughs) Then she said, well, if it takes you 10 years of discouragement and struggle to see your dream come true, how old will you be in 10 years if you never try? Well, it turns out it took me about 16 years to have my first big hit as a writer and an artist. And living through those years, it just felt like an eternity. But looking back, it feels like a blink. One thing through all of that has never changed. I love creating music and sharing special moments with an audience. All right, folks, we hope you've enjoyed this installment of Neon Music Country Legacy, and we hope you enjoyed our neon spotlight as it was shining on Mr. Michael Peterson. We're just about to send this train back home until next time. Now, thanks for tuning in to this radio station, and tune in again next week for another installment of Neon Music Country Legacy. I'm your host, Randy C. Moore. If you'd like more info about our show or would like to give us a shout out, we are on Facebook at Neon Music Country Legacy. You can find more out about your friendly neighborhood host at Randy C. Moore Music. That's Randy, initial C, Moore, M-O-O-R-E, Music, on Facebook, or go to randycmore.com. So we're going to leave you with a song from my album, Lovekin. It was 40,000 years or so, just past the beginning of all time. God was 15 minutes late for his board meeting, looking beat when he arrived. He said, angels, I apologize, shouldn't make y'all sit around and wait. When you're trying to build a universe There's a whole lot on your plate You recall just last Friday I invented this creation I call man Well I looked into his future And I see his troubles getting out of hand There'll be no end to his wickedness and evil deeds as far as I can tell. So as much 
As it pains me, boys We're gonna have to give him hell We'll need a lake A burning fire Where giant fish with jagged teeth Swallow all the fishing boats And a bar room Made of brimstone Where whiskey tastes like gasoline Burning in your throat And the endless sound of banjos Playing out of tune and out of time And I'll need someone to run the place I've wanted one devil for hire The angels all look puzzled Just scratching at their halos with their wings When the eldest one among them stood and said Hey Lord, you know I feel your pain You and I have been the best of friends Since this whole thing began And if it's that important to you, Lord, well, I guess I'll be your man. We'll have a lake, a burning fire, where giant fish with jagged teeth swallow all the fishing boats, and a bar room made of brimstone, where the whiskey tastes like gasoline burning in your throat. Sound of banjos playing out of tune, and out of time. You don't need to go a looking round. I'll be your devil for hire. I'll be here for eternity, working day and night, leading souls down to misery. for listening to Neon Music Country Legacy with Randy Moore. I'm Burke Gagnon. Stay well, stay safe, enjoy music again.